The diagram shows symbols of safety elements. Observe them carefully. Which one of the symbols represents a radioactive substance? What are radioactive substances? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state what radioactive substances are, give examples of radioactive substances, describe the process of radioactive decay. The picture shows an atom of a radioactive substance consisting of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. A number of electrons revolved around the nucleus. Do you know what radioactive substances are? Radioactive substances are unstable substances which spontaneously break up to become a more stable nuclei. A new substance will be formed after they break up. Table 1 shows some examples of radioactive substances. Observe the proton number and the nuclear number of the substances. Click the respective substance to know more about it. Uranium nuclei are unstable and will spontaneously decay to form a new element known as thorium. Radium nuclei are unstable and will spontaneously decay to form a new element known as radon. Polonium nuclei are unstable and will spontaneously decay to form a new element known as lead. What is radioactive decay? It is the process when unstable radioactive nuclei spontaneously breaks up while emitting particles or radiation to form more stable nuclei. The unstable nuclei can emit three types of radioactive radiation during radioactive decay. These radioactive radiations are known as alpha, beta and gamma. Click the radioactive radiation to know an example of radioactive substance which produced this radiation. An unstable uranium-238 nucleus undergoes radioactive decay by emitting alpha particle which is identical to a helium nucleus. Uranium nucleus contains 92 protons and the nuclear number is 238. Helium nucleus has 2 protons and 2 neutrons. When the uranium nucleus decays, it will lose 2 protons and 2 neutrons. As a result, the new nucleus formed is thorium, with proton number 90 and the nuclear number 234. In this process, the carbon-14 nucleus emits beta radiation. Beta particles resemble electrons. The new nucleus is formed, which is nitrogen. When a radioactive substance such as plutonium-240 undergoes radioactive decay by emitting gamma rays, there is no change in proton number or nuclear number. Gamma decay usually results when a nucleus is left in an excited state, with excess energy after an alpha or beta decay. The nucleus changes from a higher energy state to a lower energy state through the emission of electromagnetic wave.
Many radioactive nuclei cannot attain stability by only one reaction. They decay continuously until a stable nucleus is reached. A few are known to occur in nature. One example is uranium-238. Uranium-238 will decay until it becomes the stable lead nucleus with nuclear number 206. Click the uranium nucleus to start the decay. Atoms in a radioactive substance decay in a random fashion but at certain rate. The half-life is the time taken for half of the atoms of a radioactive substance to decay. A uranium nucleus will start decaying by emitting alpha particles. The radioactive decaying process continues by emitting the radioactive radiation until a stable nucleus is formed. In this case, the final product is a stable lead nucleus. In the natural decay series of uranium U238, the final stable nucleus is lead plumbum 206, as shown in the diagram. The symbols alpha and beta indicate alpha and beta decay. Drag and drop the symbols of the nuclei in the correct position in the decay series. Click the check button to check your answer. Your answer is correct. Click on the correct answer. Substances that emit radiation is A. Soluble B. Reactive C. Radioactive D. Combustible Your answer is correct. Which of the following process shows radioactive decay? A. Sodium reacts with water to produce alkali. B. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form oxides. C. Thorium emits beta particles to become stable. D. Calcium gives off hydrogen when reacted with acid. Your answer is correct. Process in which an unstable nucleus emits radiation to form stable nucleus is called A. Evaporation B. Condensation C. Transformation D. Radioactive decay Your answer is correct. Which of the following substances is not a radioactive? A. Radon B. Xenon C. Radium D. Thorium Your answer is correct. Uranium nuclei are unstable and will spontaneously break up to form a new element known as a. Radon B. Xenon C. Carbon D. Thorium Your answer is correct. In this lesson, we learnt about radioactive substances, examples of radioactive substances, process of radioactive decay,
Radioactive substances are those with unstable nuclei and will decay by emitting radioactive radiation. Radioactive decay is a process when unstable radioactive nuclei break up or decay by emitting particles or radiation to form more stable nuclei. Do you know who was Marie Curie? What was her great discovery? Marie Curie, named Maria Sklodowska, was born in Warsaw on November 7, 1867, and had general education in local schools and some scientific training from her father. In 1891, she went to Paris to continue her studies in the Sorbonne, where she obtained licenships in physics and mathematical sciences. Working together with her husband, she was awarded half of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903 for their study into the spontaneous radiation discovered by Becquerel. In 1911, she received a second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, in recognition of her work in radioactivity. Marie Curie took more than three years to isolate one-tenth of a gram of pure radium chloride. Only then could she find the new element's atomic weight. It took her another eight years to isolate pure radium. Building on Marie Curie's research, scientists come to a clearer understanding of atoms. Atoms were not the smallest possible bits of matter, for there were particles within atoms.